Hi everyone, happy new release day, happy Valentine's Day. Thanks for showing Jaspies. And 2024 Tops Series won a little love today on Valentine's Day. This is Pick Your Team 5, six box jumbo. Brand new release just dropped today. First look at 2024 stuff, which is awesome. There you go. Very big thanks everyone here for getting into Pick Your Team 5. Appreciate you. And it was Michael, Last Spot Mojo with the Nationals. 70% of the time, Last Spot Mojo hits 100% of the time, so they say. Here's a jumbo case right here. Who's going to Disneyland? Mahomes is. All right, all right, all right. Six jumbo boxes. So just adjusting some camera settings here, all right. boxes right over there and good luck so what are we looking for here we're looking for one autograph and two relic cards in every hobby and in every hobby jumbo box these are jumbo boxes I don't know about you guys but I really I really like the design of these cards this year I like the neon sort of look that's happening here it's a very distinct look. Series one is usually pretty, uh, I don't know, I like series, you know, series one usually. But they don't get too adventurous with the design. But I like the vibes here. Now Jason was mentioning that, and I agree with him, that uh, the, the black borders are gonna make these cards a little bit more difficult grading wise. Uh, but if you get a PSA 10 or a BGS 10 out of these, you know, it's going to be all the more worth it, I think. Now, as we started this break, I think there were three teams left in Pick Your Team 6, two of which are only $20. So if someone could snag those $20 teams and someone will eventually grab the the slightly pricier team, which is the uh, Mets, I believe. So then we can lock in Pick Your Team 6 on the schedule, because these breaks are going to be kind of long, but we have all day. So we should be able to get to most of them tonight. All right, so let's roll here. Some of the key rookies we're looking for are going to be uh, Ellie Dela Cruz for the Reds, of course, and then Jason Dominguez for the Yankees, Evan Carter for the... Uh, Rangers, Junior Caminero for the Tampa Bay Rays. And I think Jason was saying that we're, uh, that we're seeing more like relics and not like commemorative medallion type stuff, which is also a good thing, I think. Jonathan with the Braves gets the Acuna Junior relic. Got Celebration of the Kid inserts right there. Elias Diaz, the 89 design, which is really cool. I think uh, vet commons do not ship. Yeah, that's what it says in the first line of the description. There's Evan Carter. Obviously all rookies will ship. 
All parallels will ship. That's to four ninety nine. The Andrew Benintendi. All silver pack cards will ship. I'll try to catch as many of these key rookies as possible. These these are going to be the ones that'll be top loaded. And then we've got Owen White. Got some cool inserts here. There's our first junior Caminero. Evan Carter goes to EA and the Rangers. EA also gets the junior Caminero's. He has the Rays as well. Well, there'll also be some randomizing as well. Because there are league leaders cards where we'll do some randomizing there, but we'll cross that bridge when we get there. Oh, there it is. So these, just the base versions of these, there's a lot of these, so we're gonna evenly distribute it between these three teams, Angels, Rangers, White Sox. Any foil um, or numbered, we'll do a separate randomizer for that. You know, so like left teams will get all the foil ones or middle or, or right. I think that's a good little process there. This is Christian Javier to 2024. I think these are pretty cool too. What are these called? Kind of like that blueprint look there. Show me the blueprints. Show me all the blueprints. Christian Javier, that's going to go to Mark, Mark H. Everyone remember that reference? Show me the blueprints. What movie is that from? Don't Google it. Show me all the blueprints. You got a Ryan Mountcastle. Piece of the lumber to 199. I dig that. Is the camera a little too bright here? Should we roll off the camera a little bit? Let's try that. Got Raphael Devers. Bo Bichette. I think for people of a certain age, you're gonna, those 1989 cards are starting to get into some years where we're starting to see a lot of familiar designs. There's Jason Dominguez, base. Sal Freelick. Tavares. Ooh, and there's our first autograph. It's Chaz McCormick, 2023 postseason autograph. That's Mark H with the Strohs. Thirty-one out of fifty postseason performance autograph card. Nolan Schnell might be a guy to look at this year. Now I know we we talked about the key rookies, right? Ellie, Evan, Jason Dominguez, Junior Caminero, but guys like Henry Davis, players to look out for. And there's always like a rookie or two. I feel like that always that always ends up uh, it always ends up emerging. So that's something to look out for as well. at least a couple of the other key rookies so I know what pictures to look for. Nick Senzel gold foil. Well, I guess the Ellie Dela Cruz is, is the photo that we're using, so for the...
And there's an Anthony Volpe Future Stars Silver. Ellie Bella Cruz is in a kind of a charcoal gray uniform. Kind of does it? It says first card on it. That, that's kind of cool. Do we like that? There's home run challenge. Bryce Harper. This will go to the Phillies. Image variations and super short prints should be flipped around, but. Um, if not, our uh, our excellent sorting and shipping team will, will will catch those. We'll do all the silver packs at the end of the break. All right, onwards. Good luck. Niners fire defensive coordinator Steve Wilkes after one season. Seems a little early, doesn't it? I thought the Niners defense was pretty good. Maybe Steve Wilkes can come to UCLA be a defensive coordinator. You see what, hear what Chip Kelly did? Chip Kelly ab <laughs> abandoned the UCLA and went to become an offensive coordinator in, at Ohio State. Kind of leaving UCLA in the lurch. They should have fired that. I mean, the, uh, the uh, sports director for UCLA catching a lot of heat, too. I think they, they were like, why didn't you fire that guy last fall? All right, next box. I'm getting a feel for, oh. There's our autograph, that's Slade. What are you going with Michael on this? Kakoni? Yeah. Kakoni. Pepperoni. Pepperoni. That's for Ross and the Diamondbacks. And again, we'll do a relic and auto recap at the end of the break. Is Kenley Jansen still a free agent? I think Kenley Jansen might be a friend. Dodgers should pick him up for like a season. Give him a million dollars. Leota Tavares is to 2024. That's for EA and the Rangers. There's a Jason Dominguez. There's a Edwin Diaz be healthy this year. Dominguez, all these Dominguezes going to uh, Tristan and the Yankees. When's Dominguez coming back? Does anyone know Jason Dominguez? He got elbow surgery or something like that? I don't know, the hitters can come back, come back from UCL-ish, elbow surgery-ish stuff sooner than their pitching counterparts. Maybe middle of the season? There's a George Springer. Home run derby, Aaron Judge for the Yankees. That's a gold foil one, so that will randomize 
to a specific side, left, right, or center. I got an Albert Pujols relic. Nice one for this Cardinals edition. It's going to go to Matthew Wood, St. Louis. Justin Martinez, rookie silver. That's pretty cool. Jackie Robinson. Remember that story of the Jackie Robinson statue that was cut down? Apparently they, uh, they made a couple of arrests. In that story, apparently they... I guess... They were trying to melt it down for the copper, I guess, is, the, is what they're alleging. And nothing more sinister than that. So that's to four ninety nine. So that, that'll also be part of the left, right, and center randomizer. I guess that's a thing these days, or maybe it always, it always has been. I think people are like trying to strip copper out of buildings and stuff like that too. There's Ellie Dela Cruz. Cubs team card. I think I've seen one of each, right? Oh, I need to spot some Junior Camineros. Maybe I've been... That's what the Ellie looks like. That's the Jason Dominguez. That's Evan Carter. That's Jason Dominguez. Now oh, there's that Junior Camonero. So let's look for a base Junior Camonero. Spot what his stance looks like. Commit that to memory. Maybe I've missed one already. But those will all be found and shipped. Luis Arias to 2024 and Chris Bryant for the Rockies. Major League Material. Piece of the lumber. Game used lumber. Going to Matt Arnold and the Rockies. Luis Arias will go to the Marlins. That'll be for Jeremy. Kershaw's back for another season, possibly two with my Dodgers. Well, he won't be back until the middle of the season, working his way back from a little shoulder surgery. But at this stage of his career, he might be one of those like, kind of start him up in the middle of the season, get him ready for postseason kind of kind of guy. Next box. More silver packs that we'll do all at the end. Some of those could be numbered, some of those could be autographed. There could be some, uh, some surprises in there. Eric, what's going on? Doing well. Doing well. How are, how are you? Just getting in on some Series 1. Jason was live a little bit early. I came in a little bit early to help Jason. Now I'm officially in this Series 1 here. We've got some more coming up. How's Pick Your Team 6 looking? Pick Your Team 6 still holding at three teams left. What's up, Oliver? 
Marlins Nationals are only 20 bucks each, and then the Mets, $79.99. Rest up that back. Work on that core, Eric. That'll keep the back strong. Josh Naylor is our first autograph. Our only autograph, one auto a box, unless we get a bonus. That's gonna be for John. Cleveland, this is for you. 60 out of 199. Still trying to spot, I, I might have missed one already, but I'm trying to spot a, spot a uh, Junior Caminero base card, or numbered, that'd be nice, but at least a base card, just so I can put into my brain what his stance looks like, so I know to. There's a Manuel Margot, that'll go to EA and the Rays. Oh, there, there is a core underneath it, believe it or not. Uh, you can still work on your core even with a beer belly over it. That's just excess. Still a core underneath there. Got to work on that. There's a Blue Jays team card. We got a Joe Jacques for the Red Sox to two ninety nine. That's gonna go to Mark in Boston. All right, just a just a winter coat, Eric. Just a winter coat. Evan Carter for EA and the Rangers. I found a few of him already. We're going to try to find some numbered cards, maybe an autograph of his. And there's a Vlad Guerrero Jr. There's an Andres Jimenez. Kind of crazy to hear that Warriors made a bid for LeBron James at the trade deadline. I don't know what was, what was in the mix, but... I mean, I think I think as soon as the as soon as they talked on the phone, I think the Lakers immediately said, pretty much immediately said no. All those Ellie Dela Cruises will be going to Tristan. Uh, I'm not sure what the scratch off is. I think. There's a Seiya Suzuki. I think there's like a code that you could enter and then you could enter like what day or something like that. You think they're going to hit a home run. There's Seiya Suzuki, piece of the lumber, going to the Cubs, EA and the Cubs. And then you can win something. Connor Joe. That celebration of the kids got to be like a fun, uh, that would be like a fun in uh, collection, set to collect, set to build and complete. It's Brian Dela Cruz. No relation, I think. I think there was a point where some, some of us thought there might have been a relation, but there is not. It's Justin Steele in a uh, different design. That, that must be the club, the team border or something like that. You can see the Cubs logos around there. It's kind of like betting without the money, yeah. 
I think you get like a, a, a an exclusive card or something like that. So it's not for nothing. This is Gunnar Henderson, Major League material for the Orioles. A little tear right there in that jersey. Definitely game worn, they say. EA with the O's. And there's an Ellie Dela Cruz gold foil. This is the kind of stuff we're looking for. Tristan with the Reds. Nice. He's pretty good. We need to continue him uh, being good. <laughs> Breaker cards? I don't think anyone wants that. There's Merrill Kelly, the 2024 for the Diamondbacks. It's a league leaders cards. Again, these will be part of the left right randomize left right center randomizers. box. I don't think anyone's going to pay for Breaker's card, Eric. I'd rather have people spend money on actual <laughs> real Real product with real sports stars. You come visit the shop, Eric. I'll give you, I'll, I'll sign an autograph for you. We don't, we can put on these little blank cards right there, but they're the size of a trading card. I mean, it's really kind of, a, it must be a slow news day for basketball because it's sort of a nothing burger, right? Warriors asked Lakers if they would trade LeBron. LeBron said no, his agent said no, Lakers ownership said no. And yet we got a whole segment on it on NBA Countdown. Gilo, there's Gilo, what's going on? I texted Gilo earlier, I saw, I saw your reply, glad you're okay, even though some of your friends got caught up in it, but I'm glad they're okay too. Gilo is uh, in Kansas City, of course. And um, I think everyone by now has heard about all the shooting that happened at the end of that parade. So good to good to hear that uh, at least you are okay. And I'm pulling these autographs too early here. Dave Stewart autograph, and that classic 1989 design. That'll be for EA and the A's. Ripping is, is a strike? Is, I guess it's kind of a sport. So Johan Duran, Will the Thrill. Forty Niners fans that did that, I guess maybe. I don't know. No one knows what the motivation is. Not yet, anyway. Yeah, I mean, that I think that's what I was hearing. I, I was, I was like, I was like, a lot of those injured are kids, which is, 
kind of crazy. It's sad. Any uh, any word on like? I think they've arrested a couple people already, at least. Um, any indication on what motivation was? There's Acuna Jr. home run challenge card. Cabrian Hayes. Yeah, well, Gilo was letting me know that some of his friends got caught up in sort of the sort of the people rushing to get out of that area. There's Kyle Finnegan to 2024 Nationals for Michael P. And there's Trey Turner, Phillies. That's going to be for Jerry in the Fighting Phils. Uh, yes, please. Looks like we're getting a head start on some of the shipping on this sort of stuff, ladies and gentlemen. So. So thanks to the people who got into the early cases, you might have some of this stuff being shipped out ASAP. Maybe by tomorrow. There's Chris Taylor for my Dodgers to four ninety nine. What do you do with the vet base if you don't ship them? They get donated. Usually we give them to to the neighborhood kids that come into the shop. A lot of times we load them up into uh, into these little uh, small 500 count boxes and we'll sell them and donate the money to charity. We, we call them donation box or charity boxes or something like that. So. It's Charlie Moore into 199. That'll go to the Braves, Jonathan, and then there's Evan Carter for EA and the Rangers. There's Nestor Cortez, piece of the jersey. Going to Tristan and the Yankees. Got it, three people to detain. Yeah, we'll see what the motive is. Gabe and Joe, like. <sighs> Don't like to see stuff like that at a, anywhere. You know, you don't wanna see that stuff anywhere, but it does happen in this day and age. Uh, we got Dela Cruz, we got Jason Dominguez. I want to see more parallels of these guys. That would be nice. No, yeah, but it's all right. Just I guess, I mean, it could have been worse, right? I mean, I, I don't know. I feel like there's some still some people in critical condition out there in, in Kansas City, but hopefully they'll pull through. All right. Next box. How's Pick Your Team 6 looking? We were holding at three teams when I started this break. We're still holding at three teams. Someone grab some teams, and we can, we can jumpstart... Get a head start on that. And pretty much, if we have stuff sold out by the time I finish these breaks, I mean, it'd be good to dive right into the next one. That way, we don't um, we don't waste too much time because there is a chance that we can do all of these breaks uh, tonight. All the cases that we have on the site, well, at least the first seven. All right, we're already on five. You can do six, seven, and eight, or six and seven. So I think seven 
Break seven is down to just a handful of teams. Yeah, break seven is down to five. Break eight is already down to nine. Break nine is down to 15. So I feel like we can do all of those cases tonight. We got time for it. Definitely have time for it. All right, so the autograph usually was on that side, right? So I'm gonna start here on this side. And we got a George Kirby relic for the Mariners. That's gonna go to Ross and Seattle. I did not see the renderings of the new Royal Stadium. The house that Bobby Witt Jr. built, or is going to build, I guess. Doesn't look good. I like that, I think from the bit that I read, is that they're keeping the stadium like downtown, right? Which I like. Nice home field advantage, Mike Trout. Angels, that's for Kevin. Nice, Kevin. I think these are pretty short printed. Obviously, downtown vibes from Panini, but this is the Topps version of it. I dig it. Luis Arias. Did I miss some Junior Camineros? Or maybe he's just a little more shorter printed than some of the other guys. Tyler O'Neill. Looks like I would have seen at least one by now. At least a base card. Is he a landscape mode guy? There's a Luis Castillo for the Seattle. That's going to be for for Ross. Doesn't look unique. Gilo saying they're going to rely too heavily on her our streetcar system. They should. I'm all about, as the city, I'm all about public transportation. Maybe, maybe there'll be more investment into it. Although, no, they, I mean, they should at least build some. I mean, right? It's harder, hard to drag kids through a public transportation system, though. Got Francisco Lindor going to the Mets, Merrill Kelly, gold. And Curtis Mead for the Rays, rookie auto for EA in Tampa Bay. When are they planning to, is that even, is anything even approved stadium wise? Design first, get funds and an official location later. Hopefully not too much public money will go into that. Those guys can pay for it. Coffin's known for the crown vision, and that's going away. Oh, no more tailgating. Are they trying to keep people away from the stadium? You got to have some parking. It's hard to, you know, I have friends with kids, and it's a production trying to drag them anywhere. So, so like, you got to have kids for families. 
And you gotta have some tailgating. There's Jason Dominguez for Tristan. Especially, if, I mean, you know, I guess like New York, it's kind of hard to do that. Have parking lots, but. You gotta do a little bit. Another Ellie Della Cruz for Tristan and the Reds. Got a Ryan Mountcastle to 2024 for EA and the O's. Ah, you guys are voting for it in April. And there's a Silver Mike Trout. Nice. And the Chrome Ver Tops Chrome Baseball, which should be in this design. Um, I think it's going to look pretty nice. And these are already looking pretty nice. All right, last box coming up. So what's the vote on? Yes or no, or or are there actual numbers involved? Like how how much public funding is going to happen? You know, trust the new owners at all? Why? What, what, what raises your uh, suspicions? Ah, voting on the sales tax needed to fund it. What is the sales tax? How much of an increase? Jonathan Kaminga in his last 14 games is shooting 45% from three. 58% from, from the field. He's averaging 23 and six a game. 23 points and six rebounds a game, basically. And there is Glaber Day, 002 out of 199. Piece of his jersey going to Tristan and the Yankees. Paying a three-eighth cent tax now. They want to extend it to keep funding going. Wow, so it's... So you've, so there's already... So this is in... This is in motion. That Ozzy Smith, 32 out of 89, has a different... Like a vintage back to it. Feels like the original card, except on a sturdier stock. To 89, like the like the year of the card. That makes sense. You're a wizard, Ozzy. That goes to Matthew. And the Cardinals. Kyle Finnegan, gold foil. Have missed. I'm trying to spot a base, Junior Caminero. I might have missed one EA, but our sorting team will obviously catch those. Here's what is this? 
Sweet Home, Ronald Acuna Jr. The commemorative stadium medallion. That's pretty cool. 104 out of 299. Fewer of these in Series 1 this year, so I think that makes them a little bit nicer. For the Braves, that's going to go to Jonathan. Seawald, Silver. So we're, spo we were supposed to know these plants back in September, so John Sherman's coming out a little reckless. Oh. Yeah, that is kind of weird. There are, you, it's all, money is already being raised for it, but plans seem unclear. And there's our autograph, Spencer Horowitz. For the Bluebirds, that's gonna be for Darren and the Blue Jays. Nice. Another Dominguez for Tristan and his Yankees. There's a Dane Myers to 2024, that's for Jeremy and the Marlins. Another Dane Myers, that's gonna be a gold foil for you, Jeremy. Ellie Dela Cruz. <laughs> Christian Walker. Castle gold foil. Jazz Chisholm for the Marlins. Last little stack right here, then we'll do silver packs, then we'll do some randomizers, then we'll do a quick recap. Home run derby card. A oh, home run challenge? Derby? Oh, a trip to the derby. That's kind of a cool prize. So that'll go to the Mets, that's for Michael. What's that? Silver packs. Silver packs. Well, we're not quite done yet, Hector. Play to the whistle. We still got silver packs. Numbered card potential, autograph potential in here. Ah. Social media comments were votes. It almost seems like a lot of people are going to vote no on the stadium. And what, what happens with all the, the money that's been raised by the city? That three eighth cent tax.
All right, good luck everybody. Final bit of cards here. It's just an ad. These cards look pretty sharp. Oh, there's some gold right there, and it's Sedan Rafaela. 17 out of 50. Nice. That'll be for Mark and the Red Sox. There's Nevin Carter for the Rangers. That's for EA. That, my friends, is that. All right, well, for those of you who didn't hit, we'll get them next time. Thanks for getting in. For those of you who did get hits or some nice rookie cards, congrats. All right, we'll do some randomizers here. So, so we had some of these uh, foil cards right here. We're going to do... Uh, left, right, and center for all three of these cards. Like I said before, the base versions will just be evenly distributed between the uh, the three teams on there. So we'll get a little stack of something. Let's go back to random.org. All right, so new dice, new lists. Left, center, and right. And then the side on top after 10, six and a four, 10 times. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and tenth and final time. Center cards will get those after ten. So for these three one three particular ones and any ones I missed, it'll go to the Phillies, Rangers, and uh, Diamondbacks. And the recap. Autograph and relic recap. There's a nice medallion. The Ozzy Smith, I kind of top loaded just by habit, but that's the 89. So some nice looking stuff. Like the city, there's that home field advantage. Trout's really nice. I'll snap a picture of that. And some old school guys, new school guys. Nice autos. Game used relics. Postseason insert autos. A lot of great stuff. Thanks for watching. Thanks for breaking with us. More in the store. Get after it. I'm Joe. I'll see you next time for the next series one break on jazbeescasebreaks.com.